Changsheng begins by marrying his sister. In. Law and Sister. Introduction. War correspondent Chen Xian unexpectedly travels to the world of martial arts and becomes a hunter. He was still the only male servant in the family. Unexpectedly, after the wedding night, he suddenly saw a strange message. Chen Xian. His expression is a bit strange. Why does this system look somewhat incorrect? Chapter 1. Natural Disasters. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. In the 385th year of the Great Xia Calendar, the sky is falling and there is a severe drought. After entering winter, another snow disaster is approaching. Continuous heavy snow, lasting for over a month. Rumors have it that this is God's dissatisfaction with the Xia, causing a natural disaster. At this point, Tianshui County, Yinza County, Xuangang Village. Under the silver moonlight, a man covered in snow stopped at the door of a bluestone cottage. Carrying a bow and quiver behind him. Holding a linen-colored sack in his right hand. The bag also made a squeaking sound. Who? A white mist appeared out of thin air. After patting the thick snow on his body, the man walked forward and knocked on the door. Dong dong dong. A knock was heard on the scratched wooden door. After a moment, a faint female voice came from behind the door. Who? Sister-in-law, it's me, Brother Xian, open the door. The man's name is Chen Xian and he is a hunter. Subsequently, I only heard a sound of ground friction coming from behind the door. Squeak. At some ages, the wooden door made a piercing sound. A door crack appeared. Brother Xian, come in quickly. It's so late, I'm worried about my sister. In. Law dying. A woman with a pockmarked face appeared and said with concern. After Chen Xian entered, the woman quickly closed the door again. Then a wooden table was placed behind the door. The sound of friction echoed again. Xuangang village is backed by a large mountain, and wild animals often come down the mountain. Therefore, at night, for safety reasons, each household will place tables or stones behind the door to reinforce it. In the room, it was a dim yellow. There is only one oil lamp, the thumb-sized flame jumped slightly above the wick as it closed the door, even bending a strand of black smoke on the flame. The snow was too heavy, only hitting a wild rabbit. Chen Xian Lu apologized and handed the burlap bag to the woman. You fell ill just in time, and everyone said they wouldn't let you go, but you insisted on going. If anything unexpected happens, I don't know how to explain it to your ancestors in the Chen family. Women may seem to complain, but in reality, they are more worried. Her name is Su Wanxiu. It's Chen Xian's sister. In. Law. Five years ago, Big brother Chen Tian was seriously injured while hunting in the mountains and has not shown any improvement. Later on, the elderly in the village said they could try marrying a mother. In. Law to celebrate. So, Su Wanxiu became Chen Xian's sister. In. Law. However, big brother Chen Tian couldn't resist and left on that winter night. Three years ago, the village was once again plagued by a plague, Chen Xian's father was too old and ultimately did not survive. Nowadays, there is only Chen Xian in this family, along with the widow's sister Dot In Dot Law and her sister, the three of whom rely on each other for survival. Su Wanxiu placed the burlap bag on the ground and then helped Chen Xian take off the hat and raincoat on the outside of his head. A mother-like appearance. At this moment, a crisp voice came from the inner room, Brother Xian is back. Heard the sound of groping for clothes. Quickly, a person wrapped in a blanket and casually put on a small vest inside, and the cat walked out of the inner room with its body. She is Su Wanxiu's sister, Su Yun. Why did you come out wrapped in a blanket? What did you look like? Su Wanxiu scolded her sister for being so casual. I'm too lazy to wear clothes. Su Yun saw his sister unhappy and came to her side with a cat, coquettish. She is most afraid of this sister. 
Her parents passed away very early, and she was raised by her sister. For her, Su Wanxiu is both a sister and a parent. After playing coquettish, he even stuck out his tongue at Qin Xian. Okay, okay, my family, it's okay, sister. In law. Qin Xian also spoke up for her at this moment. You, just get used to her like this. Su Wanxiu shook her head and sighed. Then he instructed Su Yun next to him, go pour a cup of hot water for Shuandi, and I'll go heat up the rice. It's so late, I'm starving. Hee hee, you're really a bit of a sister. In law. Chen Xian smiled foolishly. On the mountain for a day, this stomach had already protested. Then take a break first, I'll go right away. After Su Wanxiu finished speaking, she quickly walked towards the kitchen behind her. Chen Xian looked at his sister. In Law's figure and had a myriad of thoughts. Since marrying into the Chen family, I have always been a diligent and frugal family, managing this household in an orderly manner. Unfortunately, in my early twenties, I became a widow. I let out a sigh in my heart. But it's Su Yun, after pouring a glass of water and handing it to him, he squatted on the ground and looked at the rabbit inside the sack. Wow, it's so cute. The white fluffy rabbit, with two jet black eyes, round and round, captured her girlish heart in one fell swoop. At this point, Su Wanxiu walked over with a steaming bowl of sorghum batter and three sorghum cakes. Hurry up and eat. Well, thank you, sister. In law. Chen Xian is also not polite. Sitting at a small table, he opened his mouth and started eating. Hunting is an individual activity, moreover, now the snow in the back mountain is half the height of a person, it's really difficult to move forward. These days are getting harder and harder. On the side, Su Wanxiu looked at Qin Xian, who was wolfing down with heartache, but then a worried expression appeared on her face. Yeah. Qin Xian lowered his head and took a bite of sorghum batter, then took another bite of sorghum cake with the batter. This cake is really hard and there is also an unknown bitterness. However, in this situation, it is already not easy to ensure that one can eat three meals a day to full. It's better in the past life, at least the food is good. Yes, Chen Xian is not from this world. In his past life, he was a war correspondent for Yang Mama, I happened to be sent to a hospital that was bombarded by a cord. Interview the wounded on the front line, unexpectedly, a shell fell from the sky, boom. Suddenly, the mountains shook and the earth shook. Wake up again and you'll be in this world. And the original owner Chen Xian suffered from wind cold and eventually died, and he happened to occupy this body. Feel the indescribable bitterness in your mouth. ZhaoZhuyuan.com It has been a month since I traveled to this world. I have eaten a lot of this sorghum cake, but the taste is still a bit unacceptable. In his previous life, due to work reasons, he was able to taste all the delicious food, unexpectedly, now it has fallen to this point. Although Chen Xian's eyebrows furrowed, he could only grit his scalp and swallow it. They were both worried about the future, Su Yun's arrival is good, with a heartless expression, teasing the injured rabbit. I had a lot of fun playing. At this moment, Su Wanxiu said, Yuner, go back to the house first. Ah. Hmm. Su Yun responded softly with a very small and strange voice. This girl is usually careless, isn't she like that? Suddenly feeling strange, Chen Xian lifted his head, I saw Su Yun's head almost tucked into the blanket, and his fresh and tender face blushed twice. This made him even more puzzled. After she returned to her room, Su Wanxiu spoke up and said, Brother Xian, I want Yuner to marry you. What do you think? Getting married. Chen Xian looked surprised. But it quickly returned to normal. Su Yun is only 16 years old and over 1.6 meters tall. Exquisite in appearance, especially with those charming eyes. The figure is even more remarkable, and that pair of white men are even more proud. When Chen Xian first saw it, he was even more stunned. A woman like this, worthy of him. 
that's 10,000 willing. He was just so surprised because Su Wanxiu suddenly brought up such a thing. Chapter 2 Caves You are listening at NovelFull.audio Sister-in-law, is something wrong? On this day, even having enough food is a problem for each household. To put it bluntly, whether some families can endure until spring is a question. Although their family situation is better, it's just a little bit, not much. After all, the original owner fell ill this time and spent a lot of money. At this moment, when such a thing was brought up, Chen Xian didn't feel much like her sister. In law style. Hey! Su Wanxiu sighed. Later, she said, today, matchmaker Wang came to her home to marry Li Tai in the village. As you know, he is just a mischievous scoundrel. How could I possibly hand over Yuner to him, however, in the words, I heard he had an older brother who had a relationship with the wild wolf gang, so, in order to cause trouble in the future, why don't you marry Yuner? It's also easy to get rid of that kind of rogue entanglement. After speaking, a pair of beautiful eyes quietly looked at him like this. After all, this matter is her own idea now, and it still depends on his attitude. Humph. That kind of scoundrel, does he also deserve it? Chen Xian's tiger eyes suddenly widened, and his anger immediately rose up. Since the moment he saw Su Yun, he had already had thoughts in his heart. Just, considering the current situation, in the event of a natural disaster, life at home is indeed difficult. Also, Su Yun was too young and wanted to wait and talk, so he didn't speak up. But since his sister in law has raised the issue and there is still this matter involved, he naturally cannot refuse. So he patted his chest and promised, Don't worry, sister in law I will definitely treat Yuner and sister in law well in the future. After Chen Xian said these words, I feel a bit wrong. But after thinking about it, there's nothing wrong with it. He is the only male in this family, and of course, the head of the family. Su Yun, as his mother in law, naturally needs to take good care of her in the future. As for Su Wanxiu, she is the sister in law, and of course she also needs it. This is it also human nature. Fortunately, Su Wanxiu also didn't feel anything inappropriate. On the contrary, she said with a serious expression, of course sister in law believes you. I boiled water and you should wash up. Tonight, you can go to Yuner's room. Okay, sister in law. Chen Xian tried his best to suppress the corners of his mouth. Until Su Wanxiu returned to her room, she could no longer hold back and grinned, revealing a big white tooth. The three great joys of life, encountering old friends in a foreign land is out of the question. There won't be any travelers in this world, will there? The title on the golden list is even more elusive. Only this wedding night is left. Unexpectedly, it's about to be completed tonight. Sister, I'll take the bow of the boat, while brother, I'll walk on the shore. Humming a fitting song in his mouth, excitedly, I came to the kitchen, washed my face and feet, and wiped my body over and over again. I also smelled it several times and confirmed that there was no smell. At such an important moment, it must be clean and tidy. Before entering Su Yun's room, he took off his thick gray coat and tiptoed inside. At this point, Su Yun shrank into the big floral quilt, the kind where his face was not even visible. Chen Xian walked to the bedside, gently lifting a corner of the blanket, before entering, she gently asked, Yuner, I'm coming in. Turn off the lights. Suyin's voice was like a mosquito or fly, with a slight tremble. Chen Xian also accurately blew out the oil lamp in one breath. This is just, slowly entered the blanket. I suddenly felt a different temperature. It's really comfortable. Especially at the moment when his calf touched Su Yun. That smooth and delicate skin, Chen Xian felt that everything was moist. Are you out of it? My throat involuntarily swallowed a few drops of saliva. Adrenal hormones skyrocketed rapidly. The movement also quickened, and the whole person quickly crawled into bed. 
At the same time, holding Su Yun in his arms, at this moment, I just felt her body tremble. Brother Xian. Yuner. The atmosphere quickly heated up. How? Hey. Chen Xian had an awkward expression on his face. It's even a bit embarrassing. It must be because the original owner is still a beginner, not because of him. Chen Xian found an excuse for this unsatisfactory track trip. It's okay, maybe I'm too tired. I'm tired, Brother Xian. Su Yun appears very considerate. Curled up in Chen Xian's arms like a kitten, with eyes closed and pressed against his chest. Chen Xian is in a hurry now, how can this work? Even though Su Yun could understand the performance of the wedding night, the dignity of a man made him unable to accept it. In the morning, the first ray of sunlight shone through the window and hit Chen Xian's face. Still haven't opened my eyes. This girl is definitely unusual. Last night, not at all an opponent. Under that inexplicable suction, it really broke through in an instant. Even the subsequent one. When Chen Xian finally slowly opened his eyes. A message flickers at the corner of the eye. You and Su Yun have had a decent journey, reward three skill points next, a panel appeared before me, shimmering with a faint golden hue. Name. Chen Xian, Shou Yuan. 18 of 55, Realm. Not beginner, practice. Health preservation skill, beginner, 0 slash 50, skills. Beginner archery, 5 out of 10, beginner tracking, 6 out of 10, skill point. 3, is this his system? Chen Xian immediately became excited. He just said it. As a traveler, how could you not have any benefits? He is not a supporting role. After calming down, he began to study the system. Health preservation skills, which are passed down by the Qin family, are said to be rewarded by one of their ancestors who once worked as an archer in the army and performed meritorious deeds. He has practiced, but he doesn't feel much. As for other skills, they should only be available as hunters. And, this system it is possible to increase this so dot called skill point through marital life. Zhaozhuyuan.com um Chen Xian's expression became somewhat strange. This system is really there's enough to show off. He is not clear about this. However, he looked down at Su Yun, who was still asleep at the moment. Research and research. Anyway, does the sky look quite early? At this hour, Su Wanxiu, this sister dot in dot law, should not have woken up yet. Take it easy, there shouldn't be much problem. So, regardless of whether Su Yun agreed or not, they began to move forward. After the clouds and rain. Damn it, it's in broad daylight. Su Yunxiu's eyes widened, and Chan Chan's jade hand struck him hard a few times. Chen Xian was panting heavily while comforting the lovely person in his arms. Humph. Upon seeing this, Su Yun turned his head and ignored him. She wasn't really angry either, otherwise she wouldn't have cooperated. She was just angry that he had chosen the wrong time. It's all daytime now I'm so embarrassed. Bury your head under the blanket. At this point, Chen Xian hugged her, but his heart was anxiously waiting for the flickering information that had appeared before. However, after a long time, it never appeared at all. Can't it be done during the day? Chen Xian guessed in his heart. Until Su Wanxiu called them to wake up for breakfast, the message still did not appear. Chen Xuanlu gave a hint of a bitter smile. It seems to be true. No wonder the ancients said that daydreaming was immoral. Now it seems that, this system is not so unprofessional either. Chapter 3 Troubles. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Under Su Yun's attentive service, Chen Xian didn't do anything by himself throughout the entire process, enjoying the emperor like dressing service. This point, he is very satisfied. In this world, men have absolute status. It's not an exaggeration for women to say it's an accessory. Don't look at the little girl, although she was a bit angry just now, however. 
when serving Qin Xian, he was completely a qualified wife without any signs of anger. That's great. Qin Xian was very satisfied in his heart. This kind of treatment, in the world of his past life, was simply a pipe dream. Especially in his country, they say that women are half the sky, Qin Xian really sneered, that's not half the sky, that's the whole sky can hardly cover up those women. In the hall. Su Wanxiu has already brought the prepared breakfast to the small square table. Breakfast is very simple. Three steaming bowls of sorghum batter, and a plate of pickled wild vegetables. A seemingly simple breakfast, but at this point it is already considered very good. Xuangang village, many households have already started having two meals a day. After a night of hard work and morning activities, Chen Xian's stomach had already growled. They are all from their own families, you're welcome, sit down and start taking big bites. Hmm. He felt something was wrong after just taking a bite. Meat. Sorghum batter contains meat. It should be the rabbit meat he hit last night. Yu Guang glanced into the bowls of Su Yun and Su Wanxiu. The two of them were grabbing their chopsticks and eating in small bites. Several chopsticks in a row. He confirmed that there was no meat. Suddenly, my heart became clear. This was specially added by Su Wanxiu, his sister. In. Law. So he deliberately said, Do you still have meat this morning, sister? In. Law. Ah. Meat. Where? I don't have it in my bowl. Su Yun's face was full of confusion, and he carefully picked and pulled in the bowl with his chopsticks. Don't flip it over, if you don't have it, then Xuandi has meat to eat. Su Wanxiu put down her bowl and glared at Su Yun, who was picking up chopsticks. She said seriously, Xuandi is the only man in the family, the pillar of the family. Naturally, we need to eat meat to have strength. Neither of us do physical labor. What kind of meat do we eat? And you, now you're no longer a child, you're Shwandi's wife. You can't be as mischievous as before. Do you understand? Su Yun, who was still a child yesterday, looks a bit confused even though she is now a married woman. She nodded and replied seriously, I know now, sister. If you teach me more in the future, I will definitely study hard. I will definitely serve Brother Xian well. It's my husband, you girl. Su Wanxiu shook her head and smiled. He he, I haven't adapted yet. After speaking, he playfully stuck out his tongue at Chen Xian. Chen Xian looked at the two of them and no longer hesitated about this meat. He had originally intended to say that there was no need to do these things specifically for him in the future, but judging from the attitude of his sister. In. Law just now, it was still okay. It's useless to say so. It seems that we need to hunt more in the future. With more meat at home, their sisters will naturally follow. Eat breakfast. After Su Wanxiu instructed Su Yun to tidy up the dishes, she put on a thick cotton jacket herself. I also brought a bamboo hat. Chen Xian asked at this moment, is sister. In. Law going out? Well, we don't have much sorghum noodles at home. We need to go to the village's rice shop to buy some. Then I'll go. The snow on the road is too thick, sister. In. Law, it's not convenient for you. No need, Su Wanxiu tied the rope of the bamboo hat and refused, then said, You are also a newlywed yenner. Just rest well for a few days. Not only is there no sorghum noodles left at home, but there is also not much money left, sister. In. Law and Yuner can only do so much. Afterwards, the whole family has to rely on you. After finishing speaking, he touched his face with some pot ash and added a lot of pockmarks before asking, How's it going? Ugly crying, sister. In. Law doesn't need to do this, does she? Chen Xuanlu showed a mix of tears and laughter. In my memory, from a few years ago, Su Wanxiu started deliberately pretending to be ugly. Moreover, that's getting uglier and uglier. Look at her now, her complexion is almost turning black and her face is covered in pockmarks. If it were at night, 
I could scare and cry children. After listening, she was very satisfied and said calmly, You don't understand. There's a lot of trouble in front of the widow's door. If your brother was still here, I wouldn't have done it, but now it's not possible. Once something happens, those people's mouths are even more terrifying than knives. After speaking, he walked out of the door. Hey! Chen Xian sighed and watched as the struggling sister. In. Law left. He's only in his early twenties, living such a life, it's really hard for her. Sister, how pitiful. At this moment, Su Yun washed the dishes and walked out of the kitchen. I happened to see Su Wanxiu leaving behind. A face full of heartache. Don't worry, my husband will make you live a good life. Chen Xian hugged her in his arms and comforted her. Mmm. Su Yun responded, although his voice was not loud, it was exceptionally firm. Until noon, I haven't seen Su Wanxiu come back. In the hall, Su Yun was anxious and walked back and forth, muttering incessantly. Sister, why haven't you come back yet? This rice shop is only a few miles away, why hasn't it been so long? After only a few steps, I couldn't help but look outside with my probe. At this point, Chen Xian came in with a shovel, breathing heavily. He has been shoveling snow in front of the door all morning. ZhaoZhuyuan.com As soon as I walked into the hall, I saw her appearance and asked, What's wrong? Sister hasn't come back yet. Suyun was so anxious that she had a crying tone. Blame me, blame me, I've been shoveling snow all along. I forgot about it. Don't worry, I'll go find my sister. In. Law now. Chen Xian felt guilty in his heart. Su Wanxiu went to the village rice shop to buy some sorghum noodles, which was only a few miles away, and she didn't come back all morning. No wonder this little girl is so anxious to cry. It's definitely okay, don't worry. The snow is thick and slippery, so you must be walking slowly. You're waiting at home, I'll go right away. Chen Xianan comforted her and threw the shovel aside, ready to go out. Just as he took a few steps, a familiar figure appeared in sight. Su Wanxiu has returned. Yuner, sister. In. Law is back. After shouting inside, Chen Xian quickly ran over and took the sack from her hand, saying, Sister in law, you have finally come back. Yuner is so anxious. While speaking, Su Yun also ran over and hugged her arm, saying, Sister, you've come back. How did you get to this point? Hey, let's talk about it when we get home. Ah. At this moment, Chen Xian felt that Su Wanxiu's tone was not quite normal. Upon closer inspection, a cloud of melancholy appeared between his eyebrows. So he quickly said, Yuner, go back first. Oh. Su Yun was not foolish, and at this moment he also felt something unusual. After the three of them returned home, Su Yun kindly brought her a cup of hot water. After Su Wanxiu took it and took a gentle sip, she explained, I've met Li Tai, this naughty rascal. Chapter 4 is enough. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Under Su Wanxiu's detailed explanation, Chen Xian and his team finally found out the truth behind the matter. Originally, on the way to the rice shop in the village, Su Wanxiu happened to encounter Li Tai, a mischievous scoundrel, on the way back from buying sorghum noodles. Calling out one sister after another, her words were incredibly frivolous. At first, Su Wanxiu patiently explained to him to avoid trouble that Su Yun had already married Chen Xian. However, I didn't expect this rascal to not believe it at all. Even with a reluctant expression, he said that if Su Wanxiu was willing, he would reluctantly marry them together. Suddenly, that made Su Wanxiu angry. If it weren't for the large number of people at that time, being a woman's family, or being a widow. I can't help but scold this rascal. But even so, Li Tai also refused to let her leave easily, claiming that he had to agree to it. Fortunately, at this moment, Uncle Wang, who had a good relationship with the Chen family, passed by. On the spot, it is necessary to repair this rascal. 
As a blacksmith in the village, his burly body is certainly not comparable to that of Li Tai, a scoundrel whose body has been hollowed out by alcohol and lust. Scared, he fled in a hurry, but it was the harsh words left behind, ten days, only give Su Wancho ten days to consider, otherwise he will make his elder brother trouble their family. Seeking death. Chen Xian punched the table fiercely. My eyes sparkle with cold light. Su Yun is now his wife, this rascal. I dare to be seductive even after making several changes. Not to mention, I still had the idea of my sister. In. Law Su Wanxiu. Even more like lighting a lamp in a pit, seeking death. What should we do, husband? Su Yun's face changed from fear and he grabbed his arm. Don't worry, it's okay with me around. Don't be afraid. Chen Xian hugged her in his arms and gently patted her back, comforting her. After speaking, turning his head to look at Su Wanxiu sitting on the chair with a worried expression, Sister-in-law, don't worry, I won't go hunting in the mountains these days. I'll be at home. In broad daylight, even if his elder brother Li Tai is from the Wild Wolf Gang, I don't believe he has the courage to act recklessly. So. Su Wanxiu raised her head to look at Chen Xian. Although Chen Xian said so, she was still worried and looked hesitant to speak. However, seeing Su Yun's surprised expression. In the end, he didn't say anything more, just nodded slightly. Chen Xian could probably guess her meaning upon seeing this. As the pillar of the family, the source of income relies entirely on him. As a hunter, it is unrealistic not to go hunting in the mountains. At this moment, he already has an idea in his mind. Since Li Tai is a troublemaker, the final solution is to solve him from the source. But it takes time. One day, the Chen family was filled with a sense of unease. However, Chen Xian didn't say anything more. Knowing that Li Tai will be solved, the problem will be easily solved. At night. In Chen Xian's room, Su Yun huddled in his arms. Husband, is it really okay? The thought of Li Tai, that skinny rascal, made his hair tremble. A wave of nausea. That kind of person, if he snatches him away, it's better to die. Don't worry. Chen Xian lowered his head and lightly kissed her forehead, then hugged her tighter and continued, he said it would take ten days. You see, your husband helped you solve this scoundrel in ten days, so he won't dare to hit our main intention again in the future. Really? Su Yun lowered his head and suddenly lifted it, their eyes facing each other. Pop! Chen Xian's hand in the blanket slammed hard on her perky buttocks, pinching her chin and pretending to be angry, I dare to suspect your husband, he should be beaten. Humph! It hurts! Su Yunjiao said angrily. Does it hurt? Can my lord help you treat it? Xiao Nizi made a white eye and felt a bit helpless. Is that the pain you hit? But also in harmony, he asked, how about this treatment? Husband. I saw Chen Xian effortlessly say a few words in his ear, acupuncture and moxibustion. Su Yun listened with a bewildered expression on his face, but the next moment, as he felt a pair of big hands wandering around, he suddenly understood. Brushing his head, he buried it in Chen Xian's arms with a shy expression on his face. What worries, fears, completely disappeared at this moment. Just feel, it was scorching hot. In the morning, Chen Xian just opened his eyes and saw a flickering message at the corner of his eye. Why is it five o'clock this time? Does it mean that the points obtained each time are not fixed? Recalling the details of last night, there's nothing special about it, he just used all the skills he learned in his past life on Blue Star, and saw that teacher Kato had applied them. Is it this? Or is it true that the time last night was a bit longer? Well, it should be a little too long. Is it this? Various speculations began to arise in my heart. After all, he is currently lacking the most skill points. Make sure to figure it out. During the day, Chen Xian is at home, and intentionally or unintentionally, he comforts the two women. 
Gradually, the uneasy atmosphere yesterday has decreased significantly. It's getting dark again. On the bed, Chen Xian learned the techniques from last night and gradually practiced them on Su Yun. In the entire room, filled with strange sounds. Chen Xian had to cover her mouth. In the side room. Su Wanxiu's face was strange. These two people. With a faint smile. But soon, a faint envy appeared. Compared to this younger sister, she is really suffering. When she got married to this family, Chen Xian and his elder brother were seriously ill and couldn't do anything. It didn't take long to leave. She still, hey. Thinking of this, after sighing, he immediately covered his ears and went to Shuyuan www.zhaozhuyuan.com to tuck himself into the blanket. In five days, Chen Xian finally figured out a rough idea. The number of points given seems to be related to Su Yun. Um, this system is really weird and not serious. Chen Xian was lying on the bed with a strange face and roast. It seems that the number of points you can earn in the future depends on your abilities. Hee <laughs> hee, two more days passed, Chen Xian has accumulated 57 skill points. At night, after finishing the output, I looked at the sleeping little girl in my arms. Chen Xian carefully got out of bed, casually put on a thick cotton jacket, and tiptoed out of the room. I lit an oil lamp and entered the kitchen. Come out. Let's silently recite in our hearts. A golden panel appeared before my eyes. Name. Chen Xian, Shouyuan. 18 of 55, Realm. Not beginner, practice. Health preservation skill, beginner, 0 slash 50, skills. Beginner archery, 5 out of 10, beginner tracking, 6 out of 10, skill point. 57, looking up and down at the panel. After these days of hard work, my skill points have finally exceeded 50, which is enough to upgrade my health preservation skills. There is a faint expectation in my heart. In memory, the deceased father of the original owner seemed to have told him before that the ancestor became a true martial artist with this skill, and he lived a comfortable life from then on. Take a long breath and suppress your excited heart. Chapter 5 Nine Products You are listening at NovelFull.audio Add some health benefits to me. Let out a loud shout in your heart. Moment I saw a gradual decrease in the number of skill points on the panel, while the health benefits gradually increased. When the skill point stays at 7. Suddenly, an inexplicable heat flow formed in the chest area. Then it slowly flowed towards the limbs. On a cold winter night, at this moment, Chen Xian did not feel any coldness and was warm all over. Unfortunately, this feeling only lasted for a few breaths before disappearing. As soon as possible, Chen Xian looked at the panel. Name Chen Xian, Shouyuan. 18 of 55, Realm. Ninth rank, Refining Skin, Practice. Health Preservation Skill, Xiao Cheng, 0 out of 100, Skills. Beginner Archery, 5 out of 10, Beginner Tracking, 6 out of 10, Skill Point. 7, Breakthrough, Ninth Grade. Excited, his right hand clenched its fist and swung vigorously in mid-air. The health preservation technique reached a small level and successfully made him a ninth-grade martial artist. I quickly took off my thick cotton jacket and wanted to see the changes in my body. Bronze-colored skin caused by years of hunting. Although, after a serious illness, Chen Xian has lost a lot of weight. But at this point, this slightly slender arm gave him a strong feeling. Especially with dark skin, it's shiny and shiny, and feels very resilient. There is a feeling of cowhide. Chen Xian learned a few movements from his previous life's fitness routine, and his bones made a creaking sound. There is a feeling of explosive power. Looking at the water tank filled with water one step away. Immediately, thighs slightly curved, Arms wrapped around the water tank. Get up. Give a low shout. The water tank was steadily lifted up. 
And it also feels like there's extra strength. There should be around 300 pounds of strength. Chen Xuanxin has gained a general understanding of himself. However, I feel a slight disappointment in my heart. It's only about half as strong as ordinary people. It's not too outrageous yet. However my gaze caught sight of a pile of firewood on the ground with arms thick. I walked over and tilted one of them at a slight angle. Clench your fist with your right hand, it smashed fiercely on the firewood. Cats. The thick firewood on the arm suddenly split in half. Chen Xian looked at the back of his hand and suddenly his eyes lit up. Don't say anything about broken skin, you can't even see a trace of red marks. Indeed, it is tough enough. It's worth saying that the ninth grade is for refining leather. In summary, a ninth grade warrior, compared to ordinary people, has rough skin and thick flesh, with greater strength. His current strength, it's not a problem for one person to hit four or five ordinary people. But this is not a prerequisite for using weapons. If we really use weapons, it's hard to say. I can't bear to give him a blow from behind. Didn't Blue Star say in his past life that no matter how high his martial arts are, he is afraid of a kitchen knife? Of course, this is also the ninth grade warrior. He has heard that even if an ordinary person is allowed to wield a knife, they will not suffer any harm. However, he doesn't know exactly what grade it is. Although not too strong, it's enough to deal with Li Tai, a mischievous person. At this moment, Chen Xian clenched his fists tightly, his eyes showing a cold light. These days, the two women in the family were deeply harmed by this mischievous behavior. Now he is in the ninth grade, it's time to solve this trouble. On the second day, after having breakfast, Chen Xian immediately picked up the bow and arrow barrel. Upon seeing this, Su Yun thought he was going into the mountain and the only man in the family was going out. This reminded her of Li Tai, who was mischievous, and her face instantly changed. But when I thought about what my sister said this morning, I don't have much money left at home, and the sorghum noodles I bought last time won't last for a few days. At this moment, she wanted to say but couldn't say. Meanwhile, Su Wanxiu remained silent, bowing her head and tidying up the dishes. Seeing the two women like this, Chen Xian also explained, I won't go into the mountain. I'll go to Uncle Wang's place to repair the bow and arrow. I'll be back in a while. Don't worry. After explaining, I just left home. At this point, both Su Yun and Su Wanxiu felt relieved. Uncle Wang's house is not far from here, and it's in broad daylight, so there shouldn't be any problem. If Li Tai's mischievous behavior were to come, there shouldn't be any problem shouting for help. However, soon, Su Wanxiu's face became worried again. This time, she is not worried about Li Tai, but about how the life at home is really getting worse and worse. If Chen Xian is not allowed to go hunting in the mountains, if you're not scared to death, you'll starve to death. What should we do? Hey! Seeing his sister sigh, Su Yun silently came to her side, hugged her, and said firmly, my husband said that we will definitely solve this problem within ten days. Sister, rest assured. I hope so. Su Wanxiu didn't say much and picked up the dishes and entered the kitchen. Just when this younger sister just got married, her heart was completely on Chen Xian. He believed everything he said. Of course, I am not blaming him in my heart. This younger sister is also optimistic about having a happy day. Just Uncle Wang, Chen Xian walked into Uncle Wang's blacksmith shop and didn't see anyone, so he shouted loudly inside. Who is it? Here it is. Wang Daming heard someone calling him outside, but the person didn't come out, so he quickly responded. There's no way, he makes a living by forging iron. Usually, we make or repair agricultural tools for the village. However, the drought and snow disaster have been going on for almost half a year, and business is getting worse and worse. Especially after winter and heavy snowfall for over a month, there has been no business. If it weren't for some money left at home, 
these days are really unbearable. Oh, it's Xiao Xuanzi. Wang Daiming walked out wearing a thick grey cotton jacket. It's my uncle Wang. Could you please add some iron ore to my bow and arrow to make a new one? Find Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com Okay. It's a small matter. Wang Daiming said as he took the bow and arrow from his hand, and after fiddling with it a few times, he asked with some confusion, this is quite good, and it's enough for you to use. Especially if you add some iron ore to this bow for forging, uncle is afraid you won't be able to pull it. I can do it, don't worry about it. Chen Xian didn't explain either, just to reassure him. Seeing him say so, Wang Daiming also nodded. Their relationship with the Chen family has always been good, which is why he had the same inquiry as before. Otherwise, he doesn't care about the others. I finally got business, isn't that a fool to say? Soon, the blacksmith's shop rang with the sound of jingling. The temperature also rose accordingly. Chen Xian was also polite and casually moved a chair to sit on the side, watching Wang Daiming knock. Uncle Wang, thank you. Ah. Wang Daiming was a bit puzzled at first, then thought of something and suddenly realized, what do you mean by Li Tai's mischievous behavior? That kind of person is just a scoundrel. If it weren't for having an older brother, he would have been killed long ago. As he spoke, the hammer in his hand also weighed a bit. Also, be careful, that kind of person is just a dog skin ointment. It's really uncomfortable to get it on especially his brother. I heard he's already a member of the Wild Wolf Gang. Next time you enter the mountain, let me know in advance so that I can pay attention to you. Old Chen left early, and your brother also left. The whole family relies on you, and you can't help but enter the mountain. It's difficult for you. Ah! What a wicked act! A good person doesn't live long and can't die from harm. It's unreasonable. When dot. The noise has once again increased by one degree. Chapter 6. Li Jin. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chen Xian and Wang Daiming were talking. At this point, a child with a small leather hat on his head and a blue coat walked out of the inner room barefoot. It is Wang Daiming's son, Wang Hai. Dad. Wang Daiming turned around to take a look. Suddenly panicked, he dropped the hammer in his hand and quickly ran over, cursing, you silly kid, you don't know how to come out with your shoes on. If you get sick from the cold, how much will it cost? She hugged him and walked into the inner room. Chen Xian watched this scene and also sighed at Uncle Wang's difficulty. Mrs. Wang, like his mother, had a plague and left, leaving this father and son to rely on each other. He is both a mother and a father, pulling on his son. It's really not easy. After a moment, the child ran out first, Brother Xian. Chen Xian also hugged him in his arms and scraped his small nose. Let's get hit by the bear, Xiao Hai. He's already seven years old and doesn't know how to get out of bed with shoes on. How cold it is. I forgot about it. He he. You're naughty. Chen Xian touched his head. At this point, Uncle Wang walked over with a bowl of steaming sorghum batter. This. It's so thin. Chen Xian thought to himself. It seems that Uncle Wang's family's life is also difficult. This batter looks much thinner than his own. Come over quickly, eat it. I'm here. Dad. I just woke up from hunger. Wang Hai quickly slipped off Chen Xian and sat at a small table beside him, drinking heavily. Delicious, delicious, Dad. Chen Xian returned home, it's already two hours later. Two women at home are busy in the kitchen. Chen Xian was in the room, pull the bow that adds iron ore. The power of a familiar new bow. For a hunter, a new bow is like a new wife, requiring a comprehensive feeling. How much force can be pulled full? Otherwise, it will affect the accuracy. That's it, continuously pulling the bow time and time again. 
Not long after, a gurgling sound came from the stomach. Hmm. I felt the protest from my stomach. Chen Xian frowned slightly. I was full this morning, and I didn't do any heavy work today. How come I got hungry so quickly? Actually, where did he know, after becoming a warrior, possessing stronger power than ordinary people naturally leads to increased internal consumption. Moreover, the higher the quality of a warrior, the more they not only eat, but also eat meat. This is how to maintain internal consumption. On the contrary, long-term abstinence from meat consumption leads to significant physical exhaustion and deteriorating physical condition, even causing one to fall into the martial arts realm and become an ordinary person again. At noon, no one called, so Chen Xian walked out of the room on his own, smelling the smell. I'm too hungry. Seeing the sorghum batter and sorghum cake on the table, and even a small bowl of rabbit meat. Shiny and glossy. Chen Xian's saliva is almost flowing down. There's still meat today. It's Chinese New Year, sister. In. Law. Seeing the meat, he couldn't help but joke with joy in his heart. Specially prepared for you, it doesn't matter if we two women don't care. You, as a man, can't eat meat for a long time. Su Wanxiu said as she set her chopsticks. Actually, this is just one of the reasons, and there is also one that she feels embarrassed to say. This night, the movement, it hasn't stopped for a moment since the day we got married. I'm sure I need to make up for this tiredness. Of course, as a sister. In. Law, she couldn't say that. It can be said that, Su Wanxiu, this sister. In. Law, is really meticulous and takes care of this family in every aspect. It's just that fate is a bit tough. No need, let's eat together. Let's eat together. Chen Xian felt embarrassed upon hearing this. Life is so difficult now, I don't know how many days have passed before I can eat meat. Let him eat alone, sorry about that. So, disregarding the opposition of the two women, he forcefully gave them a piece of rabbit meat. That's it, it was still under his strong demands. Either he doesn't eat either. In the end, the two women had no choice but to eat one piece. Eat in small bites, a small piece of meat, two women have finished drinking sorghum batter but haven't finished yet. Chen Xian also felt heartbroken as he looked at it. We must go into the mountain now. Tonight, we must get rid of Li Tai, this rascal. Only when the two women at home are at ease can he rest assured. At night. Chen Xian was dressed neatly, carrying a bow and arrow barrel on his back, and also wore a short knife he wore during hunting, which he pinned around his waist. Gently and slowly, I opened the door and slipped out. Outside, a silence fell. But the snow stopped. Under the silver moonlight, Chen Xian felt slightly nervous as white mist appeared one after another in the air. Both the original owner and himself, this is the first time they have committed murder. Who, after getting slightly better, walked towards the direction of Li Tai's house. About half an hour, here it is. However, to his surprise, the mischievous person did not sleep, and through the window paper, a faint light could be seen. Chen Xian tiptoed closer. A finger dipped in saliva and with a slight force, it pierced through the window paper. Then, squinting one eye, I saw the situation inside. Brother, I rely entirely on you this time. Do you have to help me? In the house, Li Tai's face and ears turned red as he drank, and he had a big tongue when speaking. I can help you, but it was agreed in advance. You need to take it easy this time and stop causing trouble for me. Once we get married, we will live a good life. If we don't have enough money, I will give it to you. But you need to give birth to more children for our oldly family. Find Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com Li Jin sat across from him, wearing a furry leather jacket that was worth a lot at first glance. Drinking alcohol, looking at the only younger brother in front of me. It's also a headache. My parents left early, and since childhood, they have been two brothers who rely on each other. Fortunately, 
he also managed to make a name for himself and joined the Wild Wolf Gang. However, his younger brother really breaks his heart. I have been ignorant and inexperienced since childhood. Fighting and fighting are even more convenient for parents. When I grow up, I eat, drink, play and gamble again. If it weren't for him being his own younger brother, I would really want to slap him to death. A few days ago, I told him again that I had fallen in love with the widow's maid from the old Chin family. I thought something bad had happened this time and I wasn't prepared to talk to him. But with his repeated assurances, he said this time it was sincere. As long as he can marry this woman, he will live an honest life. This has softened my heart again. I came back this time also for this matter. I hope it's true this time. If I really dare to lie to him, then I really don't care about him in the future. In my heart, I also had no choice but to have such a younger brother on display. He is not without women, but after so many years, those women's bellies have not moved at all. This is also one of the main reasons why he has indulged Li Tai for so many years. I just hope he can give birth to several descendants of the old Li family. I just hope he can really say and do it. As for, he never thought about whether the widow of the Chin family would agree or not. He's doing well in the Wild Wolf Gang, there are quite a few people with good relationships. If you dare not agree, then grab it. In his eyes, this is not a problem. Chapter 7 Massacre You are listening at NovelFull.audio Outside the Window the conversation between the two was transmitted word for word to Qin Xian's ears. Animal. My heart is filled with anger. His face was gloomy and cold, with a cold gleam in his eyes. Tonight, these two brothers will be killed. Just now, when I saw Li Jin, although it's just a silhouette, the tiger's back and bear's waist are not good at first glance. Even if you are not a warrior, you are still much stronger than ordinary people. Thinking about whether to come back and solve Li Tai at another time, this way, the risk is also slightly lower. But now, we must eradicate the root cause to avoid future troubles. Take out a black cloth and cover the entire face. Next, take out a wooden stick the size of a thumb from your pocket, which is hollow and filled with potion, specifically designed to deal with wild animals. Open the fire switch and ignite it. Suddenly, a faint white smoke appeared. Chen Xian held his breath, insert the wooden stick into the window. Suddenly, in the room, there is a faint fragrance, very faint. What flavor? Li Jin's sense of smell is naturally different from that of ordinary people, and, over the years, with this, we have avoided crises time and time again. So. What's that? Taste, big brother. Li Tai's face was red and his ears were red, his eyes were blurred, and he began to speak with a big tongue. No. Suddenly let out a loud shout. He felt a slight dizziness. This sound startled Li Tai across from him, and he also woke up a bit. Then he vigorously shrugged his nose and began to smell, it seems like. What kind of smell does it have? Ah. Ah, I haven't finished speaking yet. I felt powerless all over and lay on the table. Outside, Chen Xian kept an eye on the situation inside, and after Li Jin said the wrong thing, the arrow is already on the string. With both arms exerting force, the redesigned bow was instantly pulled full. Through the hole in the window, Chen Xian squinted one eye and aimed at the position of Li Jin's heart behind him. Rest. A sound of arrows. Bold. Where did the little rascal dare to attack you, Mr. Jean? Li Jean let out a furious shout. Having been around for so many years, Li Tai's alertness is certainly not comparable to that of a bad person who eats, drinks, and gambles. At the moment of hearing the arrow sound, on one side of the body, however, Chen Xian is already a ninth grade warrior, and this arrow shows no mercy at all. Too fast. Even though he has already reacted quickly enough, however, after all, he is not a warrior, this arrow only avoided the crucial parts, still hit on the shoulder. Chen Xian outside saw the situation, 
suddenly, he broke through the window and took out the short knife pinned to his waist. No nonsense, a lunge shot out, wielding a knife to kill Li Jin. What a cowardly thief. I'm from the Wild Wolf Gang, you're looking for death. Li Jin had a fierce look in his eyes and scolded. The severe pain in his shoulder prompted him to report his identity as a member of the Wild Wolf Gang. I want to use this identity to scare off the other party. But obviously he miscalculated. Chen Xian sneered in his heart, not to mention that Li Jin is from the Wild Wolf Gang, he is also the Emperor of the Great Xia Court and will be killed today. The distance between the two is getting closer and closer, seeing the situation, Li Jin endured the excruciating pain from his shoulder and picked up the table, fiercely smashing it at the killing Chen Xian. Humph. Chen Xian let out a cold snort and punched the table that was hitting him. With a loud bang. With one punch, the entire table split into pieces. It can be seen that Chen Xian's punch weighs a lot. Martial artists. Li Jin slowly uttered two words in his mouth, and a pair of tigers enlarged again, causing his pupils to contract rapidly. How could he be a warrior? At this moment, I was stunned. Chen Xian saw the situation and secretly thought of a good opportunity. A flying kick, it was firmly placed on Li Jin's chest. This kick, the whole person was kicked and thrown out, hitting the ground hard from mid-air. Ah! The intense pain made him let out a pitiful pig cry. It feels like the whole person has fallen apart. Curled up like a shrimp, hands covering the chest. Pain. Heartbreaking pain. Raising his head with difficulty, he looked at Chen Xian not far away with a frightened expression on his face. Brave man, spare your life. Where did you offend me, or did you seek wealth? As long as you spare my life, it's easy to say. The two words, warrior. He had to beg for mercy under pressure. This world, the fear of warriors among ordinary people has long been ingrained in their hearts. Even a ruthless person like him who has been wandering around for many years, with his head hanging from his waistband, is the same. However, Chen Xian did not hesitate at all, although I don't know any martial arts skills, but I have watched a lot of TV shows about martial arts in my past life, the whole person jumped up high, then he hit Li Jin's chest hard with his knee. Ah! The pig's cry rang out again. Seeing the situation, Chen Xian covered his mouth with one hand and wiped the knife of the other hand at Li Jin's neck. Blood spurted out, he didn't hide either, allowing plasma to splash onto his clothes. Underneath oneself, Li Jin made his final struggle before death, his body constantly resisting. However, even though his strength surpasses that of an ordinary person, he is still far behind Chen Xian, who is a martial artist. Ultimately, eyes raised and motionless. Nausea. Chen Xian felt a wave of dry nausea. Both the original owner and him have committed murder for the first time. Moreover, now he is still being stared at by Li Jin, who is a dead person. His chest surged, and the fear in his heart made him unable to hold on and vomit. However, fortunately, after a moment, it finally improved a bit. Arriving next to Li Tai, who was sleeping like a dead pig, just like before, I wiped my neck with a knife. Compared to his brother Li Jin, he is considered dead without saying a word. It's considered lucky. When killing Li Tai, Chen Xian felt a hint of naturalness, and there was no longer the nausea and fear he had just experienced. Has this habit become natural? A soft murmur came out of the mouth. ZhaoZhuyuan.com However, after the murder, Chen Xian did not forget to touch the body. There's no fart on Li Tai's body, not even a penny. Bad luck. Chen Xian cursed inwardly. Next is Li Jin. Careful touch, is this. A book. Chen Xian certainly didn't think that a young man like Li Jin could read any cultural books, so he came to the dim yellow oil lamp, imperial art in the room, good baby. I was immediately overjoyed. It's really a good thing. He is worried about this matter, always losing to Su Yun, this little girl. 
With this thing, I hope to turn around and make the decision. Hee <laughs> hee. Chen Xian's face unconsciously showed a cheap smile. Finally, I also touched some silver on Li Jin's body, and Chen Xian placed a cushion, which was about five tails. This is a huge sum of money for their family now. I can also be considered as doing harm to the people. Chen Xian thought for a moment and felt that he was right. Just a disciple of the wild wolf gang carrying such a large sum of money, it can be imagined how severely the villagers in this area have been persecuted by the wild wolf gang. Looking at the bodies of the two, the remaining light fell on the flames of the oil lamp again. I suddenly had an idea. Under the cold moonlight, everywhere was covered in pure white snow. Li Tiejia, the flames burst into the sky. After Chen Xian glanced at him, breathed a sigh of relief, he hurried towards home. Chapter 8 Detachment You are listening at NovelFull.audio Squeak The wooden door made a piercing friction sound. Wait until one person wide door crack appears. Chen Xian crawled in sideways. Just as he closed the door again, inserted the latch and turned around. Vocal. A sentence of national essence couldn't help but blurt out. The whole person was scared and almost lost his soul. In the hall, it was pitch black, but the silver moonlight reflected through the window into the cabin. In front of Chen Xian, a dark figure could be faintly seen. Big. Sister Darin Law. A stuttering question. Where did you go so late? Su Wanchou sat on a small stool, her voice very low, and she couldn't hear any emotional fluctuations. Um. I can't sleep at night, so I'll go out for a walk. Actually, what Chen Xian was thinking just now was about going out to pee, but he didn't know when Su Wanchou discovered it. In the end, he only thought of such a terrible excuse. Strolling. Are you going out for a walk on such a cold day? Hee <laughs> hee, brother Xian is really in a good mood. Sister-in-law admires and admires her. Hee <laughs> hee, Chen Xian didn't know that she was teasing him, but he couldn't help it. He didn't want to tell Su Wanchou to avoid her worry, so he could only laugh with her. Suddenly, Su Wanchou lit the oil lamp on the table. The dim yellow lights quickly occupied the darkness in the main room. At this point, she still pressed her head against it, had just extinguished the torch, and was about to look up. Not good. Chen Xian suddenly let out a secret cry. Sure enough, when Su Wanxiu looked up and saw him, her small mouth instantly opened. It can be imagined that the next second will be a sharp scream, Chen Xian quickly covered her mouth and said, Sister-in-law, don't be afraid. It's okay, please don't speak up. I let go. After Su Wanxiu nodded, I withdrew my hand and took a step back. At this point, Su Wanxiu's face showed fear, even though the lights were dim, Chen Xian could still see her face turn pale. However, the next second, I saw Su Wanxiu step up and touch him randomly. Muttering in his mouth, is it okay? There's nothing wrong with it. What exactly did you do? Chen Xian's heart warmed when he saw her in such a hurry. In this lifetime, having such a sister dot in dot law is really his blessing. In that state of panic, but seeing a bloodstain on his body, the first thing that came to mind was to check his body and care for him. How could he not be moved by this? Chen Xian grabbed her hands that were being examined around her and comforted her, saying, Sister-in-law, I'm fine. This blood belongs to someone else, so rest assured. Look at me, there's nothing wrong with me. Between words, I took advantage of the situation and made a few movements. When Su Wanxiu saw that he was truly unharmed, she lightly patted her chest and let go, thanking the ancestors of the Qin family for their blessings. A messy meal. After speaking, staring at him coldly, he said, go to my room and explain it clearly. Then he walked first towards the inner room. Hey! Chen Xian sighed. I cursed myself for being a sand sculpture. I forgot about the bloodstains on my body. That's it now, 
I have to say it. Slowly walked toward Su Wanxiu's room. At this point, she sat on the bed without saying a word, just looking at him like that. And Chen Xian, at this moment, it's like a child who has done something wrong, with their head slightly lowered. Seeing the situation, Su Wanxiu spoke softly and said, Tell me, what exactly did you do? If you don't explain it clearly, then I'll go call Yuner. No, 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 sister. In dot law. Chen Xian quickly waved his hand. Su Yun is too young. If he had known such a thing, he wouldn't have been scared. So I could only speak up and explain the matter in its entirety. After speaking, just stand there, waiting to be scolded. You. Su Wanxiu pointed at him, opened her mouth, but still didn't say anything to scold him. After a long time, with a sigh, he stood up and walked over to him. Feeling annoyed, he said, tell me in advance about this kind of thing in the future. In case something happens to you, what will Yuner do? Like me. Be a widow. Okay, 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 I will definitely tell my sister. In law about this kind of thing in the future, I promise. Chen Xian quickly nodded and promised. Take off your clothes. Ah. Chen Xian looked bewildered. There are so many bloodstains on your clothes, how can you put them on? Take them off, I'll cut out all the areas with bloodstains and sew you new fabric. Su Wanxiu gave him a white glance. Oh. Okay, okay, thank you, sister. In law. I also feel a bit ashamed in my heart. Just now some inappropriate images came to mind, it's really damn it. After Chen Xian took off his cotton jacket outside, he returned to his room. At this point, gently lifted a corner of the blanket and crawled in. Just as he was about to hug Su Yun unexpectedly, the little girl suddenly asked, Where have you been? Scared, Chen Xian suddenly felt a shock in his heart, thinking about whether it's okay to say I went pee this time, however, the next moment, Su Yun's faint snoring came from the room. Hu Chen Xian suddenly felt a sense of relief. It turned out to be babbling. You girl, how can I mess with you after I learn the art of that room, brother? Threatened fiercely, then hugged the little girl. In no time, in the room, the snoring of the two echoed one after another. In Su Wanxiu's room. Then the faint light of the kerosene lamp. Carefully cut off the bloodstains on Chen Xian's cotton jacket with scissors. Finally, I carefully checked it again, after confirming that there are no issues. Re-sew with new fabric. After finishing all of this, he burned all the blood-stained rags. Zhaozhuyuan.com After finishing all of this, the heart that was hanging in my heart was finally released. Lying in bed again, she once again prayed to the ancestors of the Qin family, praying that nothing would happen and that Qin Xian would be safe. It's not good, there's an accident. Hurry up and have someone come. Early in the morning, a shout came from outside the house. Although Chen Xian, who had been sleeping very late last night, heard the sound, he couldn't get up and couldn't even open his eyelids. It feels like a dream. On the contrary, Su Yun on the side was awakened by the sound. Shaking Chen Xian beside him, Brother Xian, Brother Xian, wake up. It seems like something's wrong outside. It's okay, it's okay, what can I do? At this point, Chen Xian is still in a daze. But the next moment, suddenly opened his eyes. What's wrong, Brother Xian? Su Yun looked at him and asked, feeling a bit strange. It's nothing, it seems like something happened. I'll go take a look. You're at home, don't go there either. Immediately get up quickly, Su Yun also stood up to serve him, but when he finally put on the cotton jacket outside, he looked around but didn't see it. Strangely asked, Hey, where's your cotton jacket? It was left here last night. I remember it right. Oh, I woke up last night and went to the thatched cottage. It should be outside. You can go to bed. It's so cold, I'll go out and look. Speaking quickly, he walked out. If this little girl were to go out and search, there wouldn't be any outside, 
so she might even want to go to Su Wanxiu's room. If she finds it, then it's a bit unclear. Chapter 9 Zero State You are listening at NovelFull.audio When Chen Xian arrived at the main hall, you can see the cotton jacket on the table at a glance. Looking at Su Wanxiu's tightly closed room. I sighed in my heart, this sister dot in dot law is really thoughtful. However, she didn't even come out with such a loud voice. It seems like I've worked hard all night. Without much time to think, I put on my cotton jacket a few times before leaving the door. Last night, a fire set fire to Li Tai's house, it's dark again, he left in a hurry, I need to go see if there are any missing things. It's also good to be mentally prepared. Someone, something's wrong. Come on, someone. At this point, not far away was a man wearing a yellow coat, with a thin face and a figure of less than 1.6 meters. Still shouting loudly towards each household. Huang Tong. The guardian of Xuangang village. A bit silly, but a good person. Anyone who has something to do will take the initiative to help, without any money, just give someone who stutters. Usually, they are stationed at the entrance of the village, guarding or patrolling the village. Because there were no other homes near Li Tai's house, he discovered it early this morning while patrolling the village. What's going on, Xiao Huang? What happened so early in the morning? Mr. Lu, who was next door to Chen Xian's house, also walked out at this moment. Being disturbed early in the morning, the wrinkles between his eyebrows deepened a bit. Grandpa Lu, it's that. That Li Tai family, burned down by. Everything. Is gone. Huang Tong speaks stutteringly. What? That bastard from Lao Li's family. Grandpa Lu's eyes widened, his face showed shock, and he quickly asked, Is that bastard okay? No. I don't know. But. Everything is. Gone. Huang Tong scratched his head. After seeing a piece of ash, he didn't carefully examine it and came to notify each household. Oh my, I saw that kidly Jean came back yesterday. He probably didn't have both of his brothers left, so Old Lee will be extinct. What should we do? Grandpa Lu stomped his feet, his heart burning with anxiety. Although Li Tai is not a jerk, Old Lee was a good person before his death. If both brothers had an accident, then the Old Lee family would really be peerless. Chen Xian curled his lips without any trace upon seeing the situation. This kind of rashness should die early. Living wastes air and food. Old Chen's kid, don't just stand there foolishly. Hurry up and help me take a look together. What's this called? Oh my goodness, you really don't want our village to recover. Oh, here we go. Chen Xian felt unhappy in his heart. Being scolded early in the morning as a fool, who should I argue with? However, Grandpa Lu is also a good person and is highly respected in the village. Although he was unhappy in his heart, he ran over and supported the old man. The two went to Li Tai's house. When the two of them arrived at Li Tai's house, this place is already surrounded by villagers. When they saw Grandpa Lu, everyone consciously gave way. At this point, Chen Xian also released his hand supporting the old man. However, even with his support, Grandpa Lu bent over and gasped for breath. But Chen Xian's gaze swept over the ruins in front of him, after confirming that nothing was left, I also breathed a sigh of relief in my heart. At this point, Grandpa Lu also breathed a sigh of relief. Immediately speaking up, he asked, How are you? Are you okay? Uncle Lu, it's okay yet. Take a look, those two black charcoal on the ground are probably the Li Tai brothers. They all say that the calamity will last for a thousand years, so it seems that these words are not accurate. The one who spoke was the daughter dot in dot law of an old ox who sold wine in the village, wearing a floral cotton jacket. There was no surprise on her face when someone died, but rather a look of schadenfreude. You child, why are you talking like this? It's all from the same village. 
If someone dies, it's a big deal. Grandpa Lu was very dissatisfied with her appearance and immediately spoke out to scold her. What's wrong, I'm not right. Li Tai, this rascal, don't you know when he usually harms the village? Bullying neighbors and doing less sneaky things. We owe so much money to buy wine on credit at our house, not to mention giving it away. I want it from him, but I also threaten our family. This kind of person deserves to die. Aunt Nyo became more and more excited as she spoke. So, those who don't know think they have a deep grudge against Li Tai, this mischievous person. You. You. Grandpa Lu was immediately speechless with his anger. Sorry, sorry, that's not what my family meant. At this moment, Uncle Nyo also rushed over with a simple and honest expression on his face. Pulling my own mother that I am. Law to go home. However, at this point, Aunt Nyo, who had already taken the lead, stopped working. What's wrong? Did I make a mistake? That's it. Rascal, life is so difficult now. This bastard has died for nothing. What should we do with our money? Bastard. Naughty. Rogue. Damn it. God damn it. Aunt Nyo is getting more and more angry as she scolds. Uncle Nyo on the side couldn't stop him. In the end, I had no choice but to forcefully hold her and walk home. You, surnamed Nyo, are just a coward. After being bullied and losing money, you dare not say a word. I was really blind when I followed you. Let go of me. Let go. Ah. What a shrew. After Uncle Nyo took Aunt Nyo away, Uncle Lu shook his head and sighed helplessly. Grandpa Lu, don't say that. Aunt Nyo is usually very good. That's right, Aunt Nyo is so kind to us. Yeah, no wonder Aunt Nyo did this. Yes. Grandpa Lu didn't expect his words to immediately provoke public anger. ZhaoZhuyuan.com Everyone speaks for Aunt Nyo one by one. Upon seeing this scene, Chen Xian immediately felt happy in his heart. After all, the people in the village know best who Li Tai and Aunt Nyo are. In his eyes, Grandpa Lu is just an old fool. Some even rely on old age to sell old age. As everyone became angry with the heat, Grandpa Lu could only change his tone and say, the old man only cares about the lately family, and he's not talking to this bastardly Tai. After all, he is an elderly person in the village and he is also getting older. After saying this, the other onlookers didn't say much either. This old Lu doesn't seem to be foolish, he still knows how to explain. Chen Xian admires this old man a bit. As I get older, I can't even walk steadily and my mind is spinning quite fast. Did you report to the Yaman? At this point, Grandpa Lu asked again. But no one answered him this time. As someone else, they will definitely report to the Yaman, after all, the matter of the dead still needs to be handled by the people of the Yaman. However, Li Tai. Forget it then. Dead, dead. Idle egg pain is about the same. Grandpa Lu shook his head and looked at the two black charcoal like corpses on the ground, cursing with hatred, you bastard, you're really damn it. But then I thought of Mr. Li again, the two of them grew up wearing open crotch pants, so they could only command Huang Tong, who was not very clever, Xiao Huang, why don't you go to the Yaman? Chapter 10 Shameless You are listening at NovelFull.audio At noon Someone has arrived at the Yaman. Two constables. However, after roughly examining the burn marks, it should be announced that it was caused by an accidental fire. At this point, three burly men also came here. One of the big men came to the side of the two constables, whispered in confusion and pointed to the ground. The two constables immediately smiled and nodded, leaving Shuangang village without saying a word. On the contrary, three big men are commanding Huang Tong who has been here all along. Let him shout for all the villagers to come here, every household must come, otherwise, don't blame them for being rude to the wild wolf gang. 
Huang Tongyi heard that they were members of the Wild Wolf Gang, and his speech became even more stuttering due to his difficulty in speaking. Quickly go door dot to dot door and start shouting. At this point, Chen Xian's family. Eating lunch. Suddenly, a knock on the door rang out. Chen Xian, go to Li Tai's house quickly. Su Wanxiu, who was eating, heard the sound and her chopsticks fell to the ground with a clang. My face has changed. Worried, he looked at Chen Xian across from him. What's wrong, sister? Su Yun looked at her strangely, then bent down to help him pick up the chopsticks on the ground. At the moment she bent down, Chen Xian shook his head at Su Wanxiu, gesturing for her not to panic. Get up and go open the door. Upon seeing it as Huang Tong, he asked, So what's going on, Xiao Huang? At this point, Huang Tong had already run to many houses, so tired that he couldn't straighten his waist. He stuttered and said, Yes. It's the Wild Wolf Gang. Let every household go. People. Upon hearing that it was the Wild Wolf Gang, Chen Xian's eyebrows furrowed. And Su Wanxiu in the room showed even more fear on her face. Su Yun thought her sister was afraid of the members of the Wild Wolf Gang, so she quickly spoke out and comforted, it's okay. Our family always pays on time, so the wild wolf gang won't make things difficult for us. It's probably asking the villagers to go and announce something. Don't be afraid. Okay, okay, sister knows. Su Wanxiu quickly nodded. But those lips were trembling slightly, it was just that Su Yun, who was lacking in heart, didn't notice. At this point, Chen Xian turned around, seeing my sister dot in dot law looking so frightened. I feel a bit guilty in my heart, if I had known earlier, I wouldn't have told the truth. It has made her so scared now. It's okay, I'll go take a look. I went to see it this morning and didn't leave anything behind. There's nothing to worry about. Just like Yun Air said, it should be something that the Wild Wolf Gang wants to announce. Even older sister, you see, Brother Xian also agrees with what I said. It's okay. Don't be afraid. That naughty guy deserves to die. Humph. Su Yun gritted her silver teeth tightly, snorted coldly, and then comforted her sister. She was the happiest when Li Tai died. Chen Xian looked at Xiao Nizi's angry expression and felt a bit amused. Both joy and anger are reflected on the face. What a child. Well, I got it. You go ahead and don't cause any trouble. Be careful and listen carefully. Mmm. Faced with Su Wanxiu's advice, he naturally knew what it meant. Leaving home, when he arrived at Li Tai's house again, it was already a dark place. Xuangang village is only a few dozen households, it seems that they have all arrived. Just thinking about it, that's right, the lewd power of the wild wolf gang, these simple villagers really dare not come. Chen Xian stood in the crowd without speaking, his gaze fixed on the three big men of the wild wolf gang at the forefront. These three people are not good people at first glance. Dressed in black, he still carries a long knife around his waist. Especially the man with a face full of flesh in the middle, his appearance was a bit like the silly one from a previous life movie but it was even more fierce. After a long time, the silly man spoke up. The hoarse voice made people feel a bit creepy. I'm here to tell you that our wild wolf gang has lost an excellent disciple for your Xuangang village this time. As soon as he spoke, don't mention Chen Xian, the villagers here are all looking confused. What does this mean? For a moment, the villagers of Xuangang village began whispering in whispers. Be quiet. The big fool was very dissatisfied with the situation and let out a loud shout. Suddenly, the villagers here dare not speak anymore, standing straight one by one, looking at him in unison. Regarding this, the fool is very satisfied. There was also a faint smile on his face, but it quickly disappeared and showed sadness. Now, everyone is even more confused. What kind of medicine is this sold in gourds? The Shah continued, Last night, a thief entered Xuangang village. 
In order to protect the safety of your village, my disciples of the Wild Wolf Gang sacrificed themselves and fought against the thief. In the end, you saw that unfortunately, a fire broke out and both of them died together. Li Jin is the best disciple of our Wild Wolf Gang and also a member of your Shuangang village. The death of such a person is not only a loss for our Wild Wolf Gang, but also a loss for your Shuangang village. For this, I hope that in Shuangang village, each household can contribute 20 large sums of money to properly bury Li Jin, which can also be considered worthy of his contributions to Shuangang village. Speaking of the end, the whole person felt like crying. However, I don't know if it's because the man didn't shed a single tear easily. His move, Chen Xian was completely stunned. This fool really knows how to perform. Apart from not shedding tears in the end, he can score 9.9 .9 points for the entire performance. It's too showy. He's really a talented person. It is also a skill for people to have such a level of shamelessness. 20 big coins, for the villagers of Xuangang village who have just experienced drought and snow disasters, it is not a small number. It is called the burial of Li Jin, it's like farting. It hasn't even entered their pockets yet. For a while, look for Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com The villagers here are boiling. Life was already tough, and now I have to pay 20 big money to these two bastards in the Li family. This reduced their fear of the three members of the Wild Wolf Gang. Everyone became dissatisfied. Even boldly speaking up, Sir, that's Li Tai. The Li Jin brothers accidentally caught fire, not some kind of thief. Please let me know. Yeah. Sir, please do us a favor. Our lives are too difficult, and we always pay you on time every year. We really don't have much money left. Please, gentlemen. However, faced with the prayers of these simple villagers in Xuangang village, what was summoned was a foolish roar. Shut up. You troublemakers, are you looking for death? And the two big men next to him also pulled out their long swords from their waists at this time. The sound of two sword chants echoed in the ears of the villagers. Under the sunshine, the two long knives emitted a chilly chill, combined with a thick layer of white snow surrounding them. Suddenly, no one dares to speak again. At this moment, Big Fool stopped pretending and gave a sinister smile, and the flesh on his face was almost piled up together. With a glare from the tiger's eyes, it scanned the crowd, every time they looked at someone, those who looked at them all lowered their heads in fear. Around, the entire village lowered their heads. Of course, it also includes Chen Xian. You have to give this money, even if you don't give it. If I don't give it, I'll leave it here. If I don't give it, I'll take my brothers and go straight to your house. Speaking of this, Big Fool paused for a moment, then he shouted loudly, Take it.